to all of our friends and social media followers from around the world. We would like to take this opportunity to send our thoughts and prayers as we all struggle through these challenging times due to the coronavirus, COVID-19. First, this is a time to consider the well-being of not only ourselves and those close to us, it is also a time to consider the well-being of those around us, including our communities and humanity as a whole. In this way, we are united globally as we all focus on beating this virus and restoring normalcy. This is a time to accept personal responsibility in all ways possible. Everyone should own a thermometer. If not, try to buy one. Take your temperature regularly and watch for any signs of fever. If you are at 38 degrees Celsius or higher, or 100 degrees Fahrenheit or higher, you should seek immediate medical attention. If you are not at 38 degrees Celsius, 100 degrees Fahrenheit, but still an elevated temperature, 37.6 degrees Celsius or higher, 99.7 degrees Fahrenheit or higher, we suggest at a minimum self-isolation, social distancing, and medical checkup as early as feasible. Avoid touching your face. Wash with soap and water for at least 20 seconds, your hands up and above the wrist area as frequently as you can, especially before eating, after blowing your nose or coughing, sneezing, after using the restroom, and before and after any fitness classes or exercise. Also use of public transportation and general social community interaction. In addition, if you have proper alcohol solution or wipes, at least 70% or greater concentration of alcohol, use it on your hands up to and above the wrists as well before touching your face or others, including surfaces you may touch frequently. Some examples include toothbrushes, combs or brushes, even touching your pets, which you may touch your pets, wash your hands after, touch your pets again, and then you have cross-contamination, which can happen. We suggest once you re-enter your home or office from the outside, it's important to decontaminate. Wash your hands, use alcohol if possible, when home, replace clothing. Make sure to sanitize your cell phones and other gadgets regularly as well, since they tend to pick up plenty of germs and end up touching your face, hands, etc. Refer to your cell phone provider's website or online searches to determine the best way to sanitize them without damaging them. Some can handle alcohol wipes, others a clean cloth with mild detergent, etc. But just remember those devices that we use so often, that we touch so often, that we set on countertops anywhere and everywhere so often, also end up touching our faces, even our mouths and our hands, which you may wash your hands, then take a cell phone call, send a text message, and then once again, you're contaminated. If you are working in an office, ensure all common surfaces are cleaned regularly with the proper disinfectant. Examples include doorknobs and handles, also especially fingerprint scanners, keypads and pin pads, refrigerators and cabinets, tabletops, phones, especially office phones that everyone uses, even shared pens, air conditioning remotes, volume controls, etc. For travelers, it is advisable advisable to prepare your hotel rooms and airline seats with alcohol wipes if possible, including tray tables on planes, seat belt buckles, and in hotel rooms, those areas that housekeeping tends to miss, such as remote controls for televisions and air conditioning, also the phones, light switches, handles, doorknobs, etc. Masks are critical if you are sick to help prevent the spread of this virus, as well as others. If you are not sick, please research carefully to ensure you are properly using the masks. And if you are sick as well, please research carefully. For example, you should know which side the filter is on and if you are sick or not to help determine which side of the mask should face outward versus inward. Generally, one side contains the filter. It's important to understand use of masks and recent statements through various credible sources have advised that there is a lot of confusion on the proper way to wear masks. And while we are not experts on the proper use of masks. We do realize it is very important to research prior to use where you may end up having the mask misplaced, which may actually expose you or others to more risk rather than less. If you are unsure, research online or ask your doctor to ensure proper usage, or you may end up making things worse and putting yourself and others at more risk. Avoid crowds and international travel as much as possible for the time being. Since fitness is important to health and wellness, it is important to continue your exercise routines if possible. 
All fitness center locations are instructed to utilize hospital grade cleaning solutions with ongoing cleaning throughout operating hours and to follow all guidance from the World Health Organization and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, as well as all local health agencies. Any shared equipment such as boxing gloves, for example, also weight equipment, should be cleaned with hospital grade disinfectant before and after each use. For gloves, it's important, obviously, to sanitize not only the inside, but also the outside. And of course, hands should be washed before and after exercise. We want you to know that as a company, we place your well-being as our number one priority, and we are taking all precautions at all levels, including social responsibility, employee and customer health and wellness, and all possible measures regarding maintaining best practices in fighting this virus. Join us in our commitment to defeating this virus through best practices in our daily lives as we strive to overcome its spread. Please refer to the World Health Organization, www who.intl. That's www.who.intl, also referred to as WHO, and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, www.cdc.gov. That's www.cdc.gov, as well as your local health organizations as applicable for frequent ongoing updates. Very important to stay informed, not only from the news, but also directly from the experts as mentioned previously. We are confident that soon life will be back to normal as all countries focus on taking the necessary measures and collaborating with global experts on a rapid and successful treatment plan to help achieve a speedy recovery for those infected and a vaccine to help prevent infection for those who are not. Please keep in mind that the vast majority of those infected do in fact recover and that before long, this too shall pass. We wish you all the best as we all unite to defeat this coronavirus. Our thoughts and prayers are with all of you, your loved ones, and your communities. Until next time, fair winds and following seas to you and yours. Goodbye for now.